Okay guys, so hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Leah. If you are not new here, welcome back. So as you can see by the title of today's video, I'm gonna dive deep into my personal life. So if you would like to hear um, the story behind about what happened and the lyrics behind this and see my reaction, keep on watching. As you can see, I got a diss track written about me. And this is not the first song written about me, but it is the first one out in public. I heard it once when it came out, and since then I haven't heard it, so I'm a little nervous because um, I, I just talked to him last night too, making sure. I mean, he knew that I was gonna eventually come out with this video, but I just wanted to double check that it was okay with him. I remember telling him specifically, I'll insert a little right here saying um i don't know what it was i always told him um no matter what like i'm a i'm gonna try to support you you know because if it were me if it were the other way around like you know that'd be awesome what i'm trying to get at is i got a link and i was like oh nice what's this and sure enough you know what let's just let's just get into it let's get into it i have soundcloud um on my phone right here so let me just pull up the link <laughs> That's a stain, it's a bad habit Showing love even though I know I can't have it All your talking sounds like static World's ending, got me in a panic I'm frantic, I didn't know it was the devil I had to dance with But these troubles are temporary, I'ma get past it The love I had was left in February Last love hit me hard, I seen stars and canaries Now my face stuck with the gallon of Ben and Jerry's Liquor only when I wanna get sicker Feel dead like I'm in a cemetery All these sorrows I'm finna bury Sit, staring at the fan Shit's getting out of hand Ain't part of my plan I know me and Mary Jane should have had our last dance Now I'm sitting with a loud pack Listen to the vowels and I run it back Soak it in like some towels Cause I know you ain't coming back Feel another type of way You don't enter anyway Now I'm playing head game I'ma love it either way Till the sun go down and it's a new day Feel another type of way Feel another type of way Feel another type of way You don't enter anyway yeah, I'm playing hate games, I'ma love it either way Till the sun go down and it's a new day Feel another type of way, feel another type of way Feel another type of way I got it So according to my calculations, chill <laughs> I mean, it's a little sad. Feel another type of way. Feel another type of way. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy. So this part, he sent the lyrics. So let me go ahead and read you the part that's about me. Oh my gosh, because I hate using profanity. But let me just give you the clear version. Things crazy and it's hard to stay sane. I don't wear my heart on my sleeve, that's a stain. It's a bad habit, showing love even though I know I can't have it. All you're talking sounds like static. Why is that so sad? <laughs> don't break a rapper's heart. The, the part that I'm gonna read right now, world's ending got me in a panic. I'm frantic. Um, I think it's so crazy how he put that in the song because earlier this year when we were talking he would always tell me 
why not give it a shot the world's ending anyway i'm so sorry <laughs> i mean i mean it's also just a song too so but the love i had was left in february last love hit me hard i seen stars and canaries now my face stuffed with a gallon of ben and jerry's liquor only when i want to get sicker feel dead like i'm in a cemetery all these sorrows i'm finna bury yeah about bad thing I remember it being at the beginning of the year yeah and i remember my friend yeah what an artist <laughs> um gotta get your inspiration somewhere how are you gonna put our business out like that i'm just kidding uh, i met him i don't know six years ago already was it six years ago was it yeah we've known each other for six years and um we had a little thing for each other when um, we first met and we had talked a little bit and went our separate ways. Fast forward to six years later, we talked again. We had talked a couple times in between the years went on as friends because me and his family, you know, like their family, I'm really close to them. And just this year we reconnected, talked about possibly, um, getting together we hung out a couple times and it was nice it was fun but i just didn't see myself in that situation with him seriously and i don't know that's been my problem a lot this year is that i'm i don't want to be serious it just scares me so i have a habit of pushing good things away from me well that's okay you know i mean things happen we do things we're out of our own feelings and it happens but loopy and barely walking is what this song made me feel like i apologize a million times and i'm gonna apologize a million and one times i am so sorry with that being said i hope you love what you're doing it is awesome to be passionate about something it's, you know it gives you a small drive was it february oh, let me see my calendar you know what it was the beginning of this year because I remember I was still in school, I believe. Yeah, I, I was still in school when we talked. Was it February or January when we talked? Because he helped me with a couple of my videos. And he actually chose a thumbnail for one of them. And it was like the cutest freaking thing ever. It was just really sweet to me. And I have had an, like an insecurity about my smile. And, you know, not a lot of people know that I smile all the time. So whenever I had asked him which one should be my thumbnail, he had, I think he paused the video that I had sent him and screenshot it. I can't remember what happened, but it was basically, it was the a day with me in six minutes in case you didn't see the video. Um, I'll put the thumbnail right here for you guys to see it. Well, I was turned over to the camera and I was smiling and he had said that my smile looked really great. I don't know, I'll insert that here too. I don't know if you guys remember hearing me say that um, this isn't the first time somebody wrote a song for me. And this is not the first song written about me. I had said, I know it's not the best, but he seriously wrote me a poem, which is kind of like a song, you know, in a way. Leah's poem, let me read it to you guys. Your eyes shine like the moonlight in the sky. Your face and smile are just so divine. I'm blushing. Every time you come around, you just bring that shining light. And I think the times that you were just a delight. I reminisce those good times we had, saying you're the best person I've ever had. I love you so bad that I had to fly out of state just to meet your Leah, things could go bad, but knowing us, we just forget and laugh. I've had a bad past, wishing I could just fix it and just live with the girl I want to forever and always last. Forever and always. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy! This is not the same person who, who came out with this song. This is a whole different person. But it's crazy how, how um, guys be doing things out of love. All right, you guys, so I'm sorry. I know I was all over the place, but for the remainder of the video, I was on a phone interview with the artist after I sent him Let's a picture. Him. He ended up calling me, which worked out perfectly. Here, I'm gonna send him a picture. I was just going through YouTube. Like, 
for a beat. And I found this type beat. It was a Rex Orange. Uh, County? I believe it's a uh, Juice World type beat. Oh. And I listened to it, and it was the beat for way. Mm-hmm. And I listened to it a couple times. And when I write music, I don't necessarily, like, pick a subject in my head. I more or less try to find a rhythm. I was just, like, just sounding out syllables and everything. And Go ahead. Well, yeah, well, I was, I was just trying to build a, a, a hook that went along with feeling that type of way. And everything else just played out. You don't answer any way. Done playing head games. I'm gonna love it either way. And I've always liked scenery, like watching the sun go down or come up, or the moon, stars, so till the sun goes down and it's a new day. I showed Frank and Frank told me when he got home, we were gonna record it on the spot, make it all. Wow. We don't wanna stop. So I started to do the, the verse, and when I do my verses, I do take personal experience so the personal experience is always it's always in my it's in my verses. So a yeah. lot of my songs may be about someone or anything, but it's never in a bad way. It's more of a it's more of a a way I'm able to get shit off my chest. Yeah, I like that, and it's cool because artists don't hold back, you know. And it's a good thing because that's how some of their best things are created, you know, by not holding back. And um, you know, it's it's you know it's something you experience it's a learning experience so like you said you don't mean it in a bad way the first line just got because like arguing and always it's always one after another you know so it's the same thing shit's crazy hard to say thing it's kind of hard to want to love something when it's not doesn't want to be there or it doesn't have the time to be there or it's just more complicated than that and it's kind of hard to keep that that love for yourself and that kind of like that grounding for yourself that's the way i feel sometimes i feel like i i lose my and i'm like like what is she doing like why is she saying this saying that so like for me it love is complicated and it's it 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 like thinking up like i'm like all over the place yeah i do i I don't want to wear my heart on my sleeve, but I do. So I try to pretend it and shake it off like I don't, but I do, and it's obvious. But I try to I try to disguise it just like anybody else. Love, even though I know I can't have it. I mean, it says what it, it says what it says. Yeah, smooth, real smooth. And then our love that that left in February, it hit me hard like I seen in Canary. When I get drunk, I ain't gonna lie, I do start to spill my heart out and start yelling. It's a part of me. It's a part of me. It's a habit. It's a habit. I can't kick it. No, you don't have to kick it. Yeah. I kind of do get my point across in my in my in my lyrics, and it comes out kind of more clear. Get in like some towels, because I know you ain't coming back. And... Yeah, sometimes you just gotta soak that shit up and just take it. Just realize for what it is. Yeah. The second part of the verse was kind of more of my favorite. The first part I liked, but the second part was more of my favorite. Really? Yeah. If it's getting out of, out of hand or if it's going my pl- going my way, I still need to get up and do this shit. And I still need to give it up my all, even though I feel like giving up. Yeah. Your experience was definitely put in there with a passion. Well, thank you, and thank you for the time, and thank you for putting me on your channel. Yeah, of course, and um, I'll go ahead and link all of your, I'll go ahead and link your SoundCloud down below. Soon enough, we'll be, we'll be, put, we'll be putting music on major platforms: Spotify, um, Apple Music, Deezer. We'll have the full platform soon. Um, none of the songs that are going to be on SoundCloud will be on those platforms. You would still have to find them on SoundCloud. Wow. But our account on SoundCloud will, will stand. Yeah, thanks for your time. Uh, well, bye. Okay, bye.
So, moral of the story, do not date a SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> so, thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like. Give this video a like if you liked it, if you finished it. Um, comment down below what you thought about the song. Go ahead and click the link. And don't forget to hit the bell notification after you subscribe to be notified when I upload a new video. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.